Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for June 5th, 2020. Well, my goodness, we've had some really hot weather. I don't know if you've had some hot weather here recently, but it is awful hot in the market as well. The bulls just keep running. There is absolutely nothing that they can, uh, there seems to be nothing to stop them. Uh, uh, no bad economic report, no bad earnings reports, nothing are standing in the way. We're driving everything as high as we can. And what's interesting is the price action intraday. But what are we looking at? What are we facing this morning? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, kind of settle into your office chair, and let's prepare for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, I'm looking at the Dow Jones and a really interesting day yesterday where we tried to go down and by the time the market opened, we got a little bit of a uh, push higher. And then the rest of the day, it was extremely light um, price action and uh, we struggled. We struggled uh, to hold on. As a matter of fact, in a 15 minute downtrend, uh, uh, started to show up in the charts. Uh, Diamond, Spy, Q's, IWM all had that. And then in the last few minutes of the day, we had this amazing surge. In fact, the last five to 10 minutes of the day, the Dow rose um, um, 80 some points to actually come back into positive prints right at the end of the day. So that last minute save. So what does that translate into today? Well, what we've been seeing lately is we get, except for, um, except for um, Wednesday where we had that bull run during the day all the other moves here have been essentially overnight gaps this morning we're looking at another overnight gap and institutions just can't seem to um, stop this push um, forward they are driving everything they can uh, to push this forward in overnight action. So right now we're looking at a big gap up ahead of an employment situation number that expected is expected to be one of the worst in history. So it kind of defies logic. It kind of defies um, uh, gravity in a lot of different ways. But there we have it. The bulls are relentlessly bullish and continuing to push higher with um, absolutely no concerns um about debt or anything along those lines they are driving higher so let's take a look at our technicals here in the charts um yesterday we at the close of the day and right at the close of the day we ticked above the 200 day moving average now we're going to gap substantially above that this morning and we have this resistance level in the chart right here that we may want to pay attention to right through there so keep an eye on that we do have a significant amount of price resistance um, in the dow chart here whether that will matter at all i i got to tell you it's been uh, it's been ages since i have seen relentless bullishness like this in spite of news or events or things going on but um let's just keep an eye on that resistance as we uh, move up there remember a a drive that's this strong can sometimes end quite violently so make sure you stay vigilant and uh, focused on that price action and it might not be all that much of a surprise if we see some sellers coming in to take some profits heading into the weekend so just keep that in mind let's take a look at um, the spy spy also in this relentless um, rally one two three four five six will be seven days up in this move um, and we are uh, just rising in leaps 
um, leaps every uh, on on those overnight sessions. Um, not much price action during the day, but leaping in those overnight sessions. And you can see we're well above the 200 day moving average holding in there and we're rising up um, very strongly um, right into this resistance zone on the chart. If we take a look at the cues, cues um, for a tiny little bit, had um, um, the enjoyment of breaking out to new record highs and uh, then slipped. And as we can uh, see here in this 15 minute chart, it was not a pretty, uh, pretty uh, day of price action in the NASDAQ. We had these uh, 15 minute double wicks up here and then we started in the downtrend. Now this morning we are gapping up here in the NASDAQ slightly, but as you can see, um, we're still struggling with that resistance high. So kind of keep an eye on that. If the techs start to sell off, um, that, that has really been lifting uh, the market pretty hard. So if the techs do start to sell off, watch for that, that sweep in here of profit taking on the day. Currently Dow futures are up 330 35 points um, just um, a relentless push to the upside let's take a look at IWM IWM has also been quite bullish just pushing 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 it didn't have as good a day yesterday um, and until right at the last minute we we were looking pretty flat uh, to the downside just flat and really kind of going nowhere but remaining um, remaining relatively strong no sellers in there it's as if all of the bears are just uh, well the the uh, central banks um, continuously pumping money into the market seems to have ground their teeth right off they have no teeth left to even be able to bite back so um, they are just uh, fully lulled to sleep right now. And we're gonna see another gap up here in IWM into price resistance levels. And honestly, a very significant level of price congestion and price action right here. So watch that close. Let's take a look at the VIX. Yesterday, we actually saw the VIX touch that 200 day moving average here in the chart and then saw it rising. Um, and kind of an interesting situation where we've got the market um, rushing higher at the end of the day, but we also saw a little VIX coming in there, a little bit of fear coming in. This morning, anyone um, that happened to trade the VIX long are gonna be very disappointed this morning. Um, with this great big gap up. So right now we're down here around that 25 handle. We're moving into that area. Um, we do have, you know, these support levels in here to be considering, but right now in this kind of relentless bullishness, there's really not too many indicators that you can rely on. It's just all bull all the time. Um, as a matter of fact, if I jump over to T2122, um, T2122 is truly defying logic here. Um, we are so stretched out um, uh, based on T2122. I've never seen us be this stretched out. But of course, I've never seen such a quick and, and crushing sell-off followed by such a quick and um, uh, amazingly strong rally either. So this is um, uh, pretty much unprecedented in, in these indicators. And so it really is defying gravity here um, at this point. So just remember that um, stay with the bull run as long as the bull run continues. But let's also keep in mind that if profit takers come in, we've extended so far, we could expect a pretty substantial pullback if it does occur. So watch that closely and be prepared for that. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar has just the one thing on it, but it is a big one. Um, we've got the employment situation number here this morning. We're expecting a number that's going to be horrific, um, historic even in um, its um, ugliness. So we'll wait and see how the market reacts to that. But lately what's happened, no matter what the economic news is, we, um, uh, 
we go higher on it. We use it as jet fuel to power us even higher, no matter what the numbers are, no matter the protest, no matter the debt, no, no matter a presidential election. Everything is just uh, every every piece of news, good or bad, drives the market higher right now. Um, kind of an interesting situation. So um, with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic, oh, I forgot. Let's take a look at earnings. We have just a few earnings um, uh, today. And the only real notable that I can really come up with for today is uh, Tiffany. Tiffany is reporting um, earnings. You can see ugly, ugly price action in here. And although they um, are reporting this morning, it looks like gapping up, I would be... Um, uh, hesitant to say this is going to have any effect on the market at all so kind of keep an eye on that um this morning um as uh, that um, moves along here in these reports let's take a look at um uh, some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that if you guys could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon um, so that you can be notified every time i post one of these videos i gotta tell you guys i've been extremely busy here the the last few days um um, with um, individual coaching and, and working with folks in their trading. And so I haven't been able to get some of the trading videos posted that I normally post. They There will be some of those posted out um, probably by this weekend. So uh, make sure and check back um, if you're interested in that. Also folks, if, if you find these videos to be worthy, if you could just do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. It helps me out a ton. We continue to grow the channel. And I just wanna say thank you so much for everyone who does um, do that. It honestly means the world to me and thank you very much. So let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And you know, I gotta tell you, there were so many moves yesterday um, that, that started and failed. Um, but came back right at the end of the day. One of those that was really interesting yesterday is, um, let's see, all of a sudden I'm having a, drew a blank, uh, Costco. Costco was very interesting yesterday. Um, big gap up, big gap up in the morning, shot up, pulled all the way back, and then intraday, it actually pushed up again and then slid back down. But Costco showing um, some pretty interesting uh, price action in here, breaking above my alert, and I think it's worth keeping an eye on in here. Um, although we have this big wick up here above us, notice that we are gapping up this morning here on Costco. So as long as this holds right in that area, Let's watch for the opportunity that Costco could can move higher. I would I would suggest that retail um, all across the board has done really really well, and um, if we look at um, like a RTH, um, is it RTH? Yeah, RTH um, retail holders. Um, ETF, you can see really strong rally breaking out. Had a little bit of pullback yesterday in that um, in that move, but overall has been real, really, really strong. So we have these breakout highs here on retail. Might be worth keeping an eye on. Any rest or pullback in here, there may be some opportunities in those charts. And I saw saw moves in like Kohl's. Kohl's moving up stronger really strong uh, breaking through these resistance levels we're up several days in a row so i'd probably wait and we're gapping higher this morning probably wait for a little rest or pullback for an entry but uh, cole's target target has been showing strength holding on to this support that opportunity that this could really break through this wedge and take off we might want to keep an eye on that so retail um, holding up pretty good uh, technology wise we had intel <clears throat> placing a nice little bullish candle here, um, alerting at the end of the day. In fact, it, it, it's just stayed stagnant all day long. And then we, we got this alert toward the end of the day, pushing up 
and you can see we have a pretty decent pattern in here a nice little tight consolidation so follow through to that candle could mean we're ready to move on through and attack these highs here in the chart keep an eye on intel How about shake shack shake shack had a big day yesterday popping through my alert nice pop and pushing right up into some price resistance now let's watch this carefully if it can actually follow through to the upside but showing quite a bit of strength yesterday as it moved up. Facebook. Facebook has been struggling here just a little bit. A little pullback. You can see I have an alert up here. Been watching and waiting for this. And yesterday it tried initially to move through. Couldn't quite get it done. So with the bullishness we have today, or who knows into next week, I want to be watching this. If we can continue to hold on to this level of price support, then that um, should embolden the, the bulls here eventually if we can hold it and start to see that opportunity to move to the upside. So keep an eye on Facebook. UNH had a little bit of a problem yesterday. It ended up selling off, had an initial pop up. You can see I've got an alert on this. This is one that could go either direction. What's interesting this morning is with the bullishness, we are gapping this back up above this little support level. So if we can continue to hold in here, um, there's still that opportunity those bulls can push it on through to the upside. Let's take a look at OKTA. OKTA has been um, really, really strong here um, in this move. It may be time for this to finally break down and pull back, and it saw those sellers yesterday kind of challenging this uptrend. What I'm watching for, and I placed an alert right in here yesterday because we were trying to push higher, um, and we are gapping up a little bit this morning here in the stock. If we can hold onto this trend, we may have that opportunity to push on through to the upside. So keep an eye on the OKTA. This could also be one of those stocks that if we do see profit taking in the market, could finally start to break down and we would want to look for that lower high in here failure for that potential short. So keep it's a good one for the list and one to keep watch of. PayPal continues to show strength here. We pushed up through some resistance in the chart. We're resting up here. You can see that resistance right here. We're resting up here. Watch for that possibility that PayPal could push on through to the upside um, in here looking pretty good. Um, Mondelez. Mondelez is setting up another nice tight consolidation. Breaking that downtrend, holding above a level of support, and consolidating that move right in here. Um, seeing some of those defensive stocks like this, trying hard to hold up so watch this in here if that can push on through might be an opportunity there in Mondelez. Um, Coke. Coke is um, also one of those in that category. Now I got to tell you um, just to for full disclosure I actually own Coca-Cola right now with a longer term idea in this trade and Coke is gapping up substantially this morning so looking pretty good here on Coke. Let's keep an eye on this as it breaks this downtrend tries to recover um, in this market. Um, how about NVIDIA? NVIDIA made a, another attempt yesterday to pop through and we have this super, super tight consolidation. I wanna watch this closely because this is a little bit lower than the high and, there, and this is an ugly bearish engulfing candle right there. So this does have that potential that we could really break down here break down um, below there but boy if those bulls continue to hold up as tenaciously as they have there is that opportunity that this could finally break out and you know bust out to all new highs and you can see we're gapping just a slightly higher here this morning so that possibility does exist that we could push on through so keep an eye on nvidia um Halliburton, Halliburton, and pretty much anything in the oil sector 
looking pretty good. Halliburton pushing up into this resistance area in the chart, but is holding a very nice trend. And you can see Halliburton is gapping up this morning. Oil sector stocks have been very, very strong. Now I have been trading that with XLE. I've been holding a, a basket here of um, energy stocks in XLE. I'm going to be really happy this morning on this gap up. So lots of strength here in energy sector and and something to be keeping an eye on. Um, another place to be looking, um, we're seeing a resurgence here of the financials. Um, XLF, um, if we look in here, breaking through um, some uh, barriers here in the chart and we're pushing up into some resistance areas here but we're seeing really strong moves in stocks like Citibank really strong moves here as those financials come back we're going to need the financials if we're going to sustain any kind of rally in the market and you can see it is gapping up this morning uh, Citibank strong if we take a look at BAC BAC very strong uh, Goldman Sachs strong moving higher if we take a look morgan stanley uh, strong and moving higher so lots of those financials really starting to pick up and carry their own weight here um, nice and strong here so keep an eye on those financials there may be some opportunities there Pan W, I've been watching this one um, pretty closely, and you can see Pan W has been struggling along this resistance area. It's possible Pan W could actually turn into a full on short. We'll want to take a look at that closely. I've also been watching AMD as a potential short. We've had these breakdowns here in this chart, and we're struggling underneath um, this downtrend. We gave up this little uptrend, and that possibility that AMD could start sliding south so we might want to keep an eye on that there are a few stocks out there but I got to tell you it's really hard to short anything right now because we're so relentlessly bullish but for those of you who might be looking for something like that um, that might be um, a chart to take a look at and last but not least i'm going to talk about mcdonald's here uh, mcdonald's um, there's that tight consolidation after breaking a downtrend bulls pushing it through that resistance it's having um, a nice week here and it looks like it's gapping up a little bit this morning so keep an eye on mcdonald's hey everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day and and uh, beyond that i want to wish you a fantastic weekend everyone take care of yourself be safe stick with this market but watch for that potential selling to come in at any time y'all take care we'll see you right back here bright and early monday morning have a good one everyone